this right here is a Cartier Roadster XL Swiss made watch. Um, very, you know, this is, I would say my second high end watch purchase. Um, I'll do a video eventually on the Rolex GMT Batman, or actually it's a Batgirl edition that I bought. But this one, even though it's a less known watch, I guess, and a less expensive watch to me, this is one of my favorite watches. Um, I've known about this watch since maybe like 2004, when a coworker of mine at the time got the watch. Um, and ever since then, I've been on the on the lookout for it. And recently, I was able to find it at a uh, Tourneau, and they had it. You know, this is this is a watch that's not being sold anymore. It's um, it's been discontinued. Uh, so I don't know if that means the value is going to go up one day or what. But I, overall, it's maintained its value since you know I was aware of it back in like two thousand and four. Um, but I just really like it has a 43 millimeter uh, bezel um, or dial. So, you know, it's a good size watch. I'm, I'm about 6'5", so I'm not like a small guy and it still looks pretty solid on my wrist, but it's not like big and bulky, like no offense to Breitling because I do like some Breitlings, but as you probably know about Breitling, they're huge. Like their their faces are really big on most of their models or a lot of their models. Um, but yeah, Cartier, really a, a classic watch, very dressy. Um, this watch is actually a pre-owned watch because, as I said, it's uh, been discontinued, so I was able to find it pre-owned. Um, and you know, you can probably still find it out there. I got the one with the what they call the tachymeter. Um, so you'll see there's like a little bit different style. You'll have the Roadster model with the same shape on, on the... Uh, the bezel and the same type of bracelet, but then you'll have a different dial. The dial will look different. This is a white dial, um, but you know, just different, you know, slightly different looks on there and also a little, little bit of different features. But with this watch, it is a hundred millimeter tested. Um, so it should say waterproof all the way down a hundred meters. Most people aren't really gonna be diving in a, uh, a um, Cartier, Roadster chronograph, but if you happen to do that, you should be okay. Or if your watch gets wet, you should be fine. Um, yeah, so you know, I just want to make a quick video to show this watch up close. Um, there are some imperfections on it, um, but those things could probably be polished out. You know, some people are super anti the polish because it removes a little bit of the material. But I've I've seen some things recently where you can get a very very light polish that really doesn't change anything on the dynamic of the watch and it'll just make it to where you're um you get those little imperfections out so i may do that one day but sometimes you know i'm i could i can go both ways i either want it perfect or i don't mind a little bit of uh you know i don't mind some imperfections but overall this watch is beautiful um i plan on keeping it forever unless for some reason someone wanted to offer me a million dollars for it <laughs> but besides that it's a beautiful watch um i'll do another um video one day where I, I take it off, but I'm just using my phone right now, but it has a, uh, I think it's a butterfly butterfly clasp. Um, really nice fit, really solid, um, keeps great time. I driving the other day, I was passing through a tunnel and it really lit up the lumens on the, uh, the, on the, um, on the watch hands and on the, um, the markers for the the uh, hours, you know, there's little little markers there that light up really, really nice. Um, but just a little background, Cartier has been around since 1837. So, you know, like for me, I, I don't like to get caught up in like the newest trends and things like that. Um, I like to sell myself on the idea of like longevity and quality. And uh, Cartier has been around for a while. They have an interesting history, um, you know, started off with one guy and then I think he brought his like brothers involved or into the business and it turned to a big family business um, but yeah a great brand uh, I think that overall it's going to maintain its value maybe go up or down a little bit but at the end of the day it's a beautiful watch and something to definitely hold on to and uh, pass down to my son all right guys have a good one hope I gave you some good looks at a good angles a couple other things about this watch that's unique is that 
they they rock with the exposed screws, right? Like while someone might say, oh, why would they show the screws? That was something that's unique to Cartier. And um, I'm sure there's other brands that do it, but for such a high-end watch to allow that to be part of their style, it's kind of dope. It kind of gives it like an industrial feel, but super sick. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get one link removed because it's a little loose, but I'll probably get one link removed. But when I actually called to uh, a, a guy that I know who's a, a Rolex certified, um, he's a Rolex certified, uh, what's the word? Not not retailer, but he basically works on Rolexes. Um, I called him because I assumed, hey, he should be able to remove a link for me. He said, no, take it to Cartier or someone will scratch it if they don't have the right tool. So anyways, thanks for checking in, guys. Like and subscribe. I'm going to be coming back with some uh, more videos on the different uh, pieces that I'm collecting and just other little, little things that I have to give you some information. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.